Mercury in the fourth. Now, I mean, the moon is in Cancer right now, so probably it's just going to help me um, actually bring forward what I feel about that. Um, Mercury in the fourth, really, you know, as much as like the 10th house could be reminiscent of the top of a mountain which the gold climbs, um, the fourth house could be reminiscent of a cave, of something hidden. You know, fourth house or the fourth sign is Cancer, which is kind of linked to the womb in a sense. Um, it's things are hidden, things that are taken care of in the, the hidden realm. And you could see that with Cancer, the fourth house kind of like being of this cardinal energy initiating on the water element, initiating on the internal element. So when you got um, these sweet beings, <laughs> I was going to use the, the Aries energy, but uh, because I got Mars in the first house, which is ruled by Cancer in my uh, own chart. Anyhow, so when you got these sweet beings with Mercury in the fourth house, they're really kind of like going to initiate on a certain emotional flow. Now, this is obvious if you know a lot about astrology, but think about it. They're going to really go within in a sense or they're going to initiate on what they feel you should feel um they're gonna and if they feel you should feel good they're gonna nurture you like a mom would but if they feel you're not being considerate of emotions they might lash out at you you know this is really the cancer energy and they're going to be able to make people feel at home through how they unify ideas perhaps they might act as a certain nurturer in how they actually um, discuss in a certain way that, um, you know, if, you, if, if they feel that you're not feeling understood emotionally in what you're saying, they're going to relate the, the, the ideas that you have in such a way that it, you emotionally feel safe or you feel that the emotional value of what you're saying is valued, you know, is taken into account. So, I mean, it, it's a really good force. It could also make them really uh, prone to taking care of the details in their home, taking care of the little, or trying to be kind of curious about how people feel um, about how, what people's emotional stance are about certain like details of communication or certain ideas you know they're really there to kind of value as much their own thought process in a way that is able to be of value emotionally but they're also going to and you know it's really the the value energy also because it's making that kind of sextile with um taurus the fourth and the second uh, sign and energy house um so really it's really about you know initiating on that sense of this this soul sense you know this lunar sense of ideas and being like yeah dude actually you know I, I i value that or like it is emotionally understood even if they don't want to go and tread into these thread tread into these waters they're going to be um there to show you that the emotional flow that you under that you, you're feeling or that you want to be understood is actually initiated upon and that it is in action in the world now depending on which sign they have they might oppose that they might be like oh yeah i feel you buddy but actually my fourth house is ruled this is an example my fourth house is ruled by aries let's say so i feel that i'm i'm showing i'm showing you that it is but at the same time i'm gonna bring you this opposition you know this is just an example but uh, this was the fourth house uh, for Mercury.